Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ready, we go in the middle, let's go. A lot of good things now, but we like, you just can't take a day off now. You can't. Okay, let's continue to build on it. I'm not going to apologize for being here, and, and I'm not apologizing to uh, try to build a winning, very successful basketball program. So this is how we're going to go about doing it. Run off the court. Zach, Zach, this way. Run to the baseline. You're supposed to get off the court before he lays it in. That's, that's how you do the drill. Full speed. Get to full speed. Go, go, go. I became a head coach at 25. I love basketball so much. And once I realized I couldn't play it anymore, I wanted to be in the gym. And I knew one way I could be in the gym is be a coach. I loved it at VCU. I had no intention of leaving there to go anywhere. But Penn State called. My wife and I are from Pennsylvania. And the opportunity to coach in the Big Ten at a place like Penn State that I cheered for my whole life Man, this is too crazy. But man, let's let's go do it. Give him the ball! Give, Leo, tell him! One more! Right? He went behind him and he's on him. You're open, tell him. Pass the ball, DeMarco. I have a different view of coach. Hit him, hit him, Meech. I was a part of Coach Rhodes' first class at Randolph Macon College. I try to remind him of the impact he's had on me, on my teammates. I've lived it myself, you know, so I know that he can inspire, how he inspires young people, how he pushes them beyond thresholds that they even thought they could push themselves. Mike Rhodes in his first season, he signed 10 players in a span of 59 days. It was the craziest 59 days of my career, or maybe probably my life. You went to exhaustion every day and you did it again. Larry, the pass, the dunk for Nick Carter. We've had some good days. We've had some tough days. But from day one, it wasn't for our lack of aggressiveness, building this thing the right way. Don't stop. Good. Now, Fave, Fave, listen. On the hidden chase, if he's already beat, right? So he beat him. Just give it to him and go. The second half of the season, I think people are going to be shocked at uh, what we're going to be able to do. It won't be easy, like, just coming in and uh, be able to beat up Penn State. Baldwin puts up the three. Penn State has the lead with 30 seconds to go. That Mike Rose identity is, like, just bullying basketball, winning, and being an aggressor. I tell our guys, we're not afraid of anything. Why would we be? It's, it's basketball. It's not life and death, it's basketball. Good, Big Ten rebounding, let's go. Big Ten rebounding, quick, quick, come on, come on. Number one on the list right now, number one on the list, come on. We gotta do it right. I know the arenas we're going into. I know how hard it's gonna be. I know what we signed up for, it. but if we're gonna bet on anyone, we're betting on us. Let's go to work, let's go to work. Family on three, one, two, three. Penn State passing, Penn State passing, let's go. I am excited to welcome our next head basketball coach, Mike Rhodes. There's some moments in your life that you can feel it. And I can still feel that hug right now. My hometown is Mahanoy City, Pennsylvania. A small town where everybody had each other's back. It's a source of pride for me. I woke up every morning, put my sneakers on, and dribbled my ball down to the schoolyard. That was my life for many, many years. That's how I fell in love with basketball. Lebanon Valley College was like an hour, 10 minutes away from Monterey City. We would drive back to my hometown so my dad would make us breakfast. We always said he made the best breakfasts around. My dad was a high school football coach and teacher, became a principal, and then 1980, when I was seven years old, he became a Pennsylvania state senator, and he was a Pennsylvania state senator for 28 years. My dad was a big, giant figure with a great hug and a warm heart. We won a national championship my junior year. We won that game in overtime against NYU. 
Everybody stormed the court. Lebanon Valley College is the NCAA Division III National Basketball Champion. After the hugs with your teammates and I ran over to him and he and I were just crying. I'm so proud of you. That's what I remember more than anything. He gave me this hug, he told me he loved me, and I'm so proud of you. October 2008 was a Friday. My dad was campaigning, he was running again. They were going up to this game. My dad was getting honored, uh, and on the way to the game, uh, my parents got hit head on, and it was a drunk driving accident. And uh, unfortunately, he died the next morning. My mom was very lucky she survived and recovered. When they take away your hero and your role model, that was really tough. Faster, Q, get yourself going, come on. The greatest thing my dad ever gave me was his belief in me. I always said my dad had real talk. He told me sometimes the things I needed to hear, and sometimes it was, you know, if you're gonna bet on anyone, Michael, bet on yourself. 